It's 12 past three. I am bottling this homebrew. You wanna come and have a look? Cause I'm midway through it, so you're gonna to have to. Hey Siri, pause. Thank you. Don't wanna get a copyright infringement. This is where the magic happens in the bathroom. Bottles to be filled, brew to be decanted, capper to be capped, ones I've already done, caps to be used. What else can I tell you? Um, I can tell you that this thing leaks. Uh, these things never last too long actually, check this out. Inside here, inside there is a little spring mechanism. You probably got no focus there thanks to the GH5. Um, but that little mechanism pushes in and releases the liquid, the beer, uh, through gravity. I've obviously got the top off, so there's a little air socket there. Um, what else? You know what? Whoa, I just hit that, didn't I? How about I bottle one and show you the process? Before we do that though, these bottles have all been sterilized. They've been soaking in the bathtub, bathtub brew, soaking in the bathtub overnight with um, dishwashing liquid and then I rinse them out really thoroughly like completely like three times each fresh water and then I lay them on the ground on, like this and I sterilize them all with boiling hot water so straight from the kettle sterilize those suckers tip that sterilized water out then I add where's my sugar oh it's over here I add my sugar I put it in here because I didn't want it to get wet I'm using brown sugar this time and that's in the bottle so I put a teaspoon of that in here and then the beer goes in and this is the process which I said last time um, it shouldn't really take too much time you should be doing this straight away because obviously now that bottle is exposed to the elements and anything could slide in there like bacteria you just don't want to faff around so me home brewing um, home brewing me daily vlogging while I home brew is faffing around but you know me I'm a stickler and this is happening now so that's why it's happening now for you as well so let's bottle this little one. I'll give you a bit of an angel there. Th thankfully, this is a one-handed process. You just stick that in there, pop it up there. You'll hear it, you might be able to hear it filling. If I shut my mouth. And it's getting closer. So these, um, what am I trying to say? So these bottles would be better if they were clear so you could see the liquid. I mean, you can see it filling up there, but sometimes it overfills if, if you don't keep an eye on it. And if you're trying to do two things at once, such as vlogging, you may overfill. Here we go. Pull it down. So you just pull it down. That's that. Beer is filled. Duh. Now I'm definitely going to need two hands for this. I'll pop that sucker down there. Got a little bit of uh, beer in my hand, so I'll just... Wash that off. How am I gonna do this? You know what, I'll try it one-handed. If this falls over and smashes, we've got myself to blame. Let's grab one of these suckers. Put that in there. This is definitely a two-handed process. We're gonna see, here we go. Oh, Ben, I don't like doing this. I don't like doing that at all. I'm gonna have to like, what am I gonna do? How can I do this? You know what? Through the magic of life, pretend that it's finished, and this is what would happen. Oh, that was hard, yeah! So that's how you cap a uh, homebrew bottle. Then you put it down here, and now you 